Epic Games are now vaulting thousands of V-Bucks on people's accounts, so to save your Fortnite locker from this happening to you, drop a like. Do you want a free gift or cosmetic from the item shop? Yes. Well you're in luck as I'm now gifting you our old subscribers every day so make sure to hit the big red button and also let me know in the comments your Epic Games ID so I can send you your free gift. And if you subscribe right now you potentially could be our 1.7 millionth subscriber. Also don't forget to use code FRIENDLYMACHINE in the item shop if you buy anything or gift anybody else and let me know in the comments down below if you have done this so I can heart it to show my appreciation for supporting the channel. So as chapter 2 season 2 comes close to an end everybody's probably got Got one girl in mind, right? Get to the highest level possible, max out the battle pass, or even unlock all the gold fully engulfed forms of our enlightened battle pass skins. With these rewards being really cool, obviously not able to be unlocked past season 3, there's a ton of secret or hidden rewards that you'll only be able to get in this season now, which have very easy challenges, also actually aiding our XP earning process for some of the challenges or the rewards themselves. Despite XP rewards however, we're going to be covering in today's video all these hidden rewards, perhaps even falling into every cosmetic category, that we can unlock something in now in chapter 2 season 2, so make sure you're sticking around and watching the full video today because you've only got a certain amount of time to complete these challenges or earn these free rewards that aren't actually declared as challenges on our challenge table or on Deadpool's computer. So first off, speaking of Deadpool, we're going to be quickly covering a hidden reward that not many people know about that could very well be added into the game for either doing a week 10 Deadpool challenge set, at least anyways, or that will be given out in the near future, just like how we could redeem the golden pump spray from obviously having streamers basically promote these codes, 1000 can be enabled off each and then from entering them on the Epic Games website. The cosmetic I'm talking about is this spray right here and as you can see on screen right now, it's also still in the files and we don't know how we can earn this as of yet and speaking of other Deadpool cosmetics on this yacht that people wanted to see but never came to be, was this umbrella. Despite the hype for Deadpool pretty much being well dead now and obviously all the eyes focused in the community on the next secret skin that's suspected to be Aquaman, I understand if they don't add this umbrella, although it would be really cool and something I'd definitely still use, but definitely expect in the near future this cloudy corn spray to appear and obviously be plastered across social media in terms of how you can redeem it. Moving on to our second hidden reward, this actually ties into Party Royale, and no it's not the Neon Wings. As you guys know recently we've been able to claim this back bling, as just mentioned called Neon Wings, and we were able to do this for simply logging in over the time period of when this concert was being broadcast between Deadmau5, Steve Aoki and Dylan Francis. Despite the really cool display that was obviously shown and the free back bling we already could get, there was another Icon Series artist that wasn't here that had files updated for him and his skin set. And also, a certain cosmetic that wasn't released a while back when the skin first ever had his initial live concert appearance in Chapter 1, being Marshmallow. And it turns out there was a ton of hints pointing toward a Marshmallow rap being added considering this was literally complete way back in February of 2019 when the Showtime concert occurred but was never released. And to further tease this, this was added into the files this short animation of a baby Marshmallow which also could be a back bling hidden reward when we actually see him rotate in the item shop again riding a Mario Kart like vehicle around what seems to be Rainbow Road from Mario Kart itself and why this is interesting is because it seems this wrap or some sort of marshmallow themed wrap has been applied to this vehicle itself. Now despite this not looking like what we saw in the files, this glowy wrap that obviously could change colour and react upon getting more eliminations or surviving longer or even dancing now as we've seen with the neon wings, but either of these wraps would be really cool to see in game and I want to know if you guys would obviously like to get this for free like we could earn free rewards in the Showtime Challenge set last year around the time of when the concert was broadcast live or leading up until it at Pleasant Park. Moving on to our third hidden item or reward, we have this image of FNCS solos that actually foreshadowed a selectable style for Agent Peely, perhaps added in the overtime challenges. Now the reason this image only actually foreshadows this despite all the other FNCS promotional assets is because they all look too similar to either the ghost or shadow variants or their normal forms when we unlock the skin. We 
also don't have a Ghost or Shadow variant for Agent P. Lee, the only skin in the Battle Pass besides Maida, which obviously is a wild card in herself, as we can fully customise her or choose exactly what she's meant to look like. For this reason, will the first selectable style that we see be granted to Agent P. Lee in these overtime challenges upon 12.60 rolling around? I guess we're yet to know. But speaking of updates, in 12.50, we actually saw some small changes made to the Airhead skin that we've only previously seen actually in the Combine when shooting certain targets on this Assault Crash Course obviously designed to improve our aim or skill in Fortnite. Also, Hypex pointed out the Airhead skin rarity was recently changed from Epic to Rare, which means it'll cost 1200 V-Bucks and they will maybe release it soon. As we briefly mentioned Agent P. Lee, his mysteries or hidden items or free rewards don't just stop there, that we can actually earn in-game right now even. As you guys know, with Agent P. Lee being a spy, obviously, shown to be this in the Top Secret Season 2 cinematic trailer where Deadpool hands him his agent jacket, and because of this, obviously, he has his own spy card. Well, we can unlock this from completing very easy tasks. Firstly, in Brutus's lair, obviously, from turning the right valve, the left, the top, and then the bottom. Once you complete each task every time, you should see Agent Peely appear in certain sections of whatever room you've performed the task in to confirm you've done it correctly. Secondly, in Tientina's room, all you need to do is basically spam on this machinery, and it takes quite a while, but upon doing this for long enough, it will eventually explode, and P1000 will actually appear from the fridge, confirming this has been completed with this little jingle or notification. The next process or stage to this is actually in Meowsel's lair, and we need to to knock off this toy on top of this scratch pull on the left hand side by simply clicking the X or A button whether you're on Xbox or PS4. Again upon doing this he will emerge from behind the scratch pull confirming you've done this so you can then progress into Midas's lair where we simply need to turn this music box or whatever it is to the right of him and you will see Agent Peely appear again confirming you've done this correctly behind the Brutus painting. After doing all four of these things you may need to reset your game as I understand this is glitch for a lot of people including myself when I unlocked it but you will eventually see this reward screen from completing what I showed you guys there. Also, speaking of Midas' lair, we do not know what the reward is for this new Storm the Agency challenge set, but we do have one challenge and how to complete it leaked early from Fort Ori where we need to find gold bars in Midas' room. Despite this challenge set upcoming in the 12.60 or 12.61 update alongside potential first overtime challenges for specific skins or overall even as a new revamp challenge set, this could very well give us a Season 3 Battle Pass for completion of all the Storm the Agency challenges, or at least with two challenge sets upcoming at the same or around the same time, will give us a high chance of being able to earn a free Season 3 Battle Pass in either of the challenge sets as one of the rewards or the subtotal reward. As mentioned at the start of the video also, for all you XP and challenge grinders, there's a challenge that isn't on the challenge table where you can instantly earn in any game 15,000 XP if you haven't already done this, but here's what you need to do. Hold square on the left hand side of this war which seems to be waged between well two inanimate teams and then go to the other side and do the same again. Legit, this will grant all players who do this 15,000 XP, but only one time, or the first time you do this. Our runner-up reward in today's video also nicely ties into overtime challenges yet again, like the Agent Peely style we've seen in the FNCS Solos promotional assets. However, this promotional asset is displayed in one of the Season 3 teasers that currently isn't fully in the game, but is starting to be plastered in a jigsaw puzzle piece-like manner on the No Sweat insurance building. As you can see, data miners have pulled the full image out of the files early to show Meowsels wearing some armbands or water wings like he's gone for a swim also suggesting a Fortnite flood and let me know in the comments if you like to have this granted to you for free or something like this with also a pool floating around Meowsels waist. Last but not least, the final hidden reward or rewards is a complete bargain that would have been the best bundle deal in Fortnite ever, the 2020 Annual Pass. Way back before 2020 begun, Epic Games were working on the Fortnite 2020 Annual Pass, awarding all players the Battle Bundle upon purchase of it, released in 2020. The best thing about this, considering the Battle Bundle is 2800 V-Bucks and we usually see around 3 to 5 seasons every year, is the fact it cost only then 7800 V-Bucks for the purchase of this 2020 Annual Pass. 
Just before the release of Season 2 in Chapter 2, it was taken out of the files, however data miners have been able to show us what it would look like upon purchase of it, and that's what you guys are witnessing on screen right now. Even if they were to still add this now halfway through the year, it honestly would be kind of a good deal dependent on how many times they extend all the seasons that they're going to release in 2020. Also alongside all battle bundles, this year being rewarded if this were to become true or be a thing actually in-game, we get all the rewards instantly that you can see on the promotional asset, and one of these skins, believe it or not, is still currently unreleased, perhaps also foreshadowing that this is the only form we can obtain it in, be it in the Brilliant Bomber, but that's all I've got for you guys in today's video, so hope you all enjoyed. If you did and want to get this video out there to more people to show them more hidden rewards in Fortnite, or just generally want to support the channel, make sure to slap a like in the video and also subscribe if you haven't already, with all notifications turned on, and hopefully I can also recognise you guys from remaining active in the comment section of my my future videos to come and I'm out. So have an amazing rest of your day or night wherever you are whenever you're watching. Have a good one, take it easy, stay safe and peace.